Hey folks, Nas here. In today's Medieval Dynasty video, I'll be discussing each of the technology and skills categories, along with what you need to do to level your points in each of these categories. I'll also be sharing a few tips along the way. Also, remember that Medieval Dynasty is still in the early access stage, and anything mentioned in this video could change with any hotfix or update. Now, before we get into this guide, please make sure to click that like button below the video if you find any of this information helpful. Okay, let's get into it. Alright folks, we're starting with the technology categories. Building, survival, farming, and production. First up is building technology. To gain building technology points, you need to utilize extraction activities and build structures. For extraction activities, the obvious thing that comes to mind is felling trees. You actually will get points for chopping the tree down, then you get points again for chopping the tree into logs. This is great because you're going to be chopping down a lot of trees. Then for building structures, well, just like it says, you have to build buildings. However, you gain points on the materials you are using. For example, when building a house, you can choose the type of walls. So the water wall will give you the least points, as the stone wall option will give you the most points. This also applies to the roof, where the thatch roof is the least amount of points, and the wooden tile roof is the most points. Now you also gain building technology points from mining and from constructing items like the rabbit trap, the wash tub, or even the archery target. Although, I would look at those items as just a bonus and not the main way to grind points. Stick to chopping down trees and building buildings. Survival Technology To gain survival technology points, you will need to hunt animals, set traps, and fish. So that is pretty self-explanatory. You get points when you kill and then skin any animal. Also by fishing and then utilizing the traps in the game. However, those are not the only way to gain survival technology points. You will also gain points by picking up rocks and sticks off the ground, or even sticks from the stick bushes. You can also gain points from picking mushrooms, berries, and broadleaf plantains. So your survival points are going to come from many activities. If you folks have any tips or tricks you like to use to gain points in any of these categories, please feel free to share those in the comments below. Or you can also join my Discord community and share those tips in the Medieval Dynasty chat channel. Okay, let's continue. Farming Technology To develop your farming technology, you'll need to farm and breed animals. So you will need to create farming plots and then go through the process of cultivating those plots. For example, you gain points for every crop plot you grub, then points for fertilizing that plot, then points again for plowing that plot, and you guessed it, you gain points again when you seed that plot. Then, once all of that is done and you wait the season or two for your crop to mature, you once again gain points for harvesting the items from those same plots. Then, if you're breeding animals, the breeding activities will give you farming technology points as well. Now, early on in the game, farming technology points can be a pain to get, mainly because they are not easy to come by as some of the other technology categories. So one little tip would be to go and create a 16 by 16 crop and then grub all 256 plots, then delete the whole field, rinse, and repeat. I tend to like to do this with every new game. I'll spend my day gathering items or chopping trees or questing. Then once the sun starts to go down, I like to get back to my house and spend the evening repeating this grub process until morning. This will help you level your farming technology much quicker. At the time of this recording, there are currently no taxes on your fields. However, this could change in future updates. Production Technology To develop your production technology, you will basically need to craft stuff. This is a pretty simple technology to level, especially early in the game, because you're going to be doing a lot of crafting. So by crafting, I mean from Rasimir's personal crafting wheel, or from any crafting table or station, even by crafting meals in the tavern. Sadly though, 
Crafting firewood from Rasimir's personal crafting wheel does not give production technology points. However, you do get points if you craft the firewood from the woodshed crafting bench. So if you are doing a mass firewood crafting session, make sure you're doing it from the woodshed. That is all for the technology categories in Medieval Dynasty. And now, on to the skills categories. Extraction, hunting, farming, diplomacy, survival, and crafting. First up is extraction skills. To level the extraction skills, you will need to fell trees, dig up clay, or mine rock, limestone, salt, and ores. This skill point gain is pretty straightforward. If you want to level these skills quickly and do a skill grinding session, I would suggest sticking with trees. You get points when you fell the tree, and then you get points again when you chop the tree into logs. Also, the type of tree that you decide to fell does make a difference. For example, the birch tree gives you the same amount of points as the pine tree or the maple trees when you fell it. But when you chop the trees into logs, each type of tree will reward you a different amount of points. The birch tree rewards the lowest amount of points when chopped into logs. The maple tree will reward you the most points. Then the pine tree falls right in the middle of the birch and the maple. Just like when you chop up the birch tree, it only gives you two logs compared to the three logs you get from the pine tree and the four logs from the maple tree. So as you can see, the maple tree will give you the most points and the most logs of all three types of trees. Always make sure you are dropping points into the extraction knowledge to start gaining more extraction points with each of the extraction activities. Hunting skills. To level the hunting skills, you will need to, well, hunt. You are rewarded skill points in hunting by killing animals and then again by skinning those animals. So when you are out hunting animals, you gain hunting skill points twice. Once for the kill and again for the skinning activity. Traps are also a source of hunting skill points. However, you will only gain the points when you take the animal out of the trap. But you do not get any skinning points as the animal will already show up in your inventory as meat. When placing my traps, I like to set them right outside a building I will be entering frequently, like the resource storage or my house. That way, I am more likely to remember to check the traps for animals. You can also gain hunting skill points by going fishing, either with the fishing spear or the fishing nets. And don't forget to place skill points in hunting knowledge to help gain points faster with each hunting and fishing activity. Farming skills. To level the farming skills, you will need to, well, farm. <laughs> Gaining farming skill points works in the same way as the farming technology points. What I mean is, after you create a field, you will be rewarded points each time you grub, plow, fertilize, see, and then when you harvest each plot in that field. So a great way to grind farming skill points is to place a large crop and grub each plot in that field, then delete the whole thing and repeat. At the time of this recording, there are currently no taxes on your fields. However, this could change with a future update. Diplomacy skills. To level the diplomacy skills, you will need to talk to villagers, complete quests, and sell items. When talking to villagers, as long as you get the plus any value in the top left of the screen, you're rewarded with diplomacy skill points. You gain the same points for a plus two reaction as you do for a plus 10 reaction. However, if you get a negative value, you do not lose points you are just not rewarded any points. Then completing quests will also reward you with diplomacy skill points. As a matter of fact, completing quests rewards you a large amount of points compared to most of the other options. But quests are limited in availability. So I suggest doing your side quests each and every season and just follow your chapter and story quests in normal fashion. Then there is selling items. Yes, you gain diplomacy skill points by selling items. The cool thing about this is the higher the sale price is, the more points you gain. But don't run out 
and start crafting a lot of expensive stuff to sell. An easy way to gain diplomacy skill points each year is by selling lots of small light things such as grain, seeds, and feathers, for example. You can carry tons of these items without being encumbered, so not only are you gaining skill points, you can make lots of coin too. Survival skills. To level survival skills, you will need to pick up stuff off the ground. No, you can't just drop your axe and pick it up to gain survival skill points. You will need to pick up things like rocks, sticks, mushrooms, and berries. Things that naturally generate in the game. So everything you can pick off of a bush or the ground will reward you with survival skill points. Now for our last skill category, crafting. Gaining skill points in crafting is just like gaining points in production technology. You will be rewarded these skill points each time you craft an item. No matter if it's in Rasmir's personal crafting wheel or a workstation's crafting bench. However, there is a small exception that I have found. If you craft firewood in Rasmir's personal crafting wheel, you do not gain any crafting skill points. However, if you craft the firewood in the woodshed crafting table, you are rewarded crafting skill points. So make sure if you are crafting your own firewood that you craft it in the woodshed. When crafting items, the type of items does make a difference. For instance, if you craft a simple torch, you will not be rewarded the same amount of points as the simple bag. Another example is you will be rewarded more points for crafting the stone pickaxe than if you crafted the wooden hoe. Now there are way too many items in the game for me to break down each item and the points they all reward. However, I will say to raise your crafting skill point quickly during the early game, I suggest crafting the stone knife, simple bag, and wooden spear. These are easy items to gather materials for crafting, and if you are crafting multiple to sell, then you make some extra coin too, so it's a win-win. Alrighty folks, there we go. A complete list of all the skills and technology categories along with how to level each one. If you're looking for more in-depth information, I'll leave some resource links in the description below for you to check out. You will also find links to my Discord server, Twitter, and Facebook pages. Then, if you're feeling generous, you could buy me a coffee. But make sure you don't pass by the like and the subscribe buttons without showing them some love first. Thanks again for joining me today. We'll see you in the next one. Take care and happy hunting.